Hi Jason. How you doing? Yeah, you are ready for your project? I think so. I see you have some aircraft engine parts. Is that a Cessna? Yeah? Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you are doing the overhaul for the Cessna engine. Okay, that's a four cylinder engine. So you are doing your measurements and you want to show uh, the viewers how to use your vernier caliper. And you are trying to find out the out of round for your piston. Exactly. Okay, so how will you do that? Out of round for piston? Well, I'm going to use my veneer scale, and it's got two measurements. It's going to have your inches on the bottom, your centimeters on top. I want to go ahead and use the inches to figure out what it is. Now, when I measure this, I'm going to measure from perpendicular and parallel to the boss hole. Okay. Where I have it now is going to be the parallel. Okay, that that's way. your pin hole for your piston pin? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to move this out, and we're going to use the inside of the veneer scale. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it out like so. To get the outside diameter, okay. Yes. Make sure you're parallel across to it. You're not getting the wrong reading too far left or too far right. Mm -hmm. Get it just to the point where you have a little bit drag. of drag there. Okay. Bring it down. Now, I had to use a magnifying glass because you can't see, but... Okay, the camera can see, so... All right. You're going to take all your measurements off the zero mark on the slide. Since the zero mark is past the five, you're going to have five inches. Okay. So you write it down, 5.000. Um, look down at the zero mark again to see, get your tenth reading. Since it isn't past the one mark, you're going to have zero tenths. So you write down zero, zero, zero. Look a little bit further in to get your uh, hundredths reading. And since it's split up into quarters, each tick mark is going to be worth point zero two five. Uh, now I see it's past the third mark, which would equal point zero seven five. And then to get your hundredth out or hundredth cent reading, you're going to look at the venia side. Yeah. Okay. Which line lines up? Okay. Exactly. And make sure you're staying right on top of it to make sure you're not looking at an angle. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing uh, 11 thousandths. So you're going to write that down as 0 0.011. Add all that up, which would be 6805. Okay. So now, you, now you're doing your out of round measurement. Right. Okay. So, so you would second measurement. rotate now. the piston 90 degrees, mm -hmm. do a perpendicular reading across from the pinhole. Get it nice and snug, and do the exact same thing again. So you'd have five inches, then point zero zero tenths, then seventy five hundredths, and then look for your hundredth reading. And I'm going to go with 10 there, so you'd have 0 0.0105805. Zero, zero, and, mm -hmm. and now to get your actual runoff reading, you'd have to subtract this number from this number, and it would actually come down to 0 0.001. Okay, so it's within a tolerance. Exactly. Okay, thank you so much, Jason. No thank you. Appreciate that.